commit sin or one well versed in health care can you raise up your hand can you stand up you are a medical officer health officer Nobody here is a health officer. Okay, come forward. You have a piece of information, piece of advice for these people. You come out. What advice do you have for your brethren? Concerning health and health care. You can sit on the first chair there. When he finishes, you come. Short, short. Others will also speak. Praise the Lord. Um, I would like to ask, advise as ministers of the Lord. Sometime... Uh, when you interact with ministers of the Lord, we exercise faith and forget about the wisdom that the Lord gives us to take care of our health, most especially on medical checkup. I would like to encourage that once in a while you take care of your health. The first thing is uh, dentistry. At least in six months, go and check your teeth is sometimes something that you don't bother about it because most people don't have problem with that but as a minister of god if you have tooth problem sometimes you find yourself not functioning well in the field that the lord have called you also there are disease conditions like high blood pressure because of the pressure of work and other things, you feel you are okay, you are moving up and down. But sometimes you realize people sleep and they have partial stroke, some quadriplegia or anything that incapacitates this work that the Lord placed in your hand. And to check your blood pressure, sometimes 20 naira, 50 naira, you are done. And they can advise you, oh, this is your blood pressure is going up have a little rest recheck again in social time if there's problem still then we will give you medication don't be quick to take medication with high blood pressure because sometimes if you are under pressure the blood pressure should up small uh, recheck again if it is persistent you can agree uh, for the medication that's if you pray and you see that the thing is persistent but uh, many people just go around with it and before you know there will be pressure and there is rapture in the uh, blood vessel that supply blood to the brain and you see paralysis come in that is not too good for ministers of the lord then i would like to talk about feeding our pattern of feeding sometimes you see uh, uh, ministers of the lord for example sometimes you eat 10 pm 9 pm in the night that is not good for you to just eat and go to bed. You need some exercise. Even though because of prayer in the night, it helps. Therefore, I would like to encourage that uh, eat early, uh, have a little exercise or one or two things, study prayers before you sleep. It's very, very helpful. And uh, the type of food you eat too. Sometimes some people will be buying some drugs to reduce their weight. But I want to encourage, if you realize you are overweighting, uh, your weight is becoming much, reduce intake of carbohydrates. Take vegetables, take fats, uh, the stored fats in your system will, will break down and it will reduce the adipose system in your system, uh, body. But if you, you continue to take uh, carbohydrates, and other component of food, you say, I'll eat more of vegetable, more of this, but you continue with carbohydrate. You may not really see any good change uh, in your weight or in your system. But uh, if you reduce carbohydrate very well, 
go for fruits, vegetables with exercise. It's going to do you good. Then there is another disease condition that is very silent and it kills fast is uh, hepatitis B. Uh, the problem with the liver is that the liver itself can be affected, half of it gone, but you are still looking well. You are not having any signs and symptoms. But when it goes to uh, the other side, making, if we divide the liver into four, it affects two portion, going to the third portion, leaving just one portion. That's where the thing comes. Sometimes before diagnosis, the person is gone. Somebody who is sick now, you take him to the hospital, they take sample, they are check this test before result comes out, the person is gone. Also, we should be aware of uh, our environment for Lassa fever. Uh, the Lord saved me, my mentor, the person that sent me to medical line, uh, is dead, and I bathed him, the last bath, which is not supposed, the Lord just saved me. He had, he's a medical doctor, very vast, he was once, once time a uh, commissioner on the plateau. When he came sick, uh, he became sick, his younger brother is a medical doctor too, he thought his lack of rest, took him to the hospital. When they tested uh, his glucose level, it was high. They, begin to, uh, uh, they didn't test the glucose anyway. He told them, this man is a tired man. So they pumped him with uh, dextrose, increased his glucose level before they know the thing is high. But later they realized his body is swelling, is, uh, th they see the sign of Lassa fever in him. They took the sample before the result comes out is already gone and i remember that evening i bathed him before i took over duty when the result came out i was sky i was not myself because most of the time when it happens caregivers are at risk so we should close our foods sanitize our environment make sure all the health tips we receive we should work upon them so in that light, uh, I want to talk also about glucose. I may not be detailed because of time and other things, and uh, I don't have appropriate uh, something to follow. Our glucose level two, if you are approaching the age of 40, please don't play with any medical checkup. Medical check Make sure you are updated always. Um, also, we have the law of use and disuse. If you look at me very well, because of my condition, you realize that I develop muscles here because I pray on my hand in the night hours. I spend two, three hours. So your system is like that. If your stomach is going out of range, there is an exercise that you can do and it will go down. Also, women who gave birth newly, uh, our ministers, instead of boiling hot water and be, uh, there is a method they do, there is a simple exercise they can do and it will control the uterus to go uh, to its, uh, take its shape within short time. Uh, let me give time to my sister. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for this opportunity to stand before you and uh, speak a little bit about our health. Even though we didn't prepare for this, but we'll do our best to give you the best we can. Praise the Lord. I want to thank my brother for what he said and to elaborate a little bit more on the areas he touched concerning our medical checkup. We discover that in our environment, we are not very good in taking care of ourselves in the area of pre prevention. We like to be sick before we visit the doctor. This is why the white men are better than us. They will go to the doctor before they are sick to discover some things that may come up in years to come. And when they discover these things, they take care of it before it arrives. But in our own case, when we are sick, we prefer to go to the chemist, take paracetamol, take this, and then we allow ourselves the sickness will be accumulating. By the time we realize it, it will be too late. 
Praise the Lord. I want to talk on the area of cholesterol and calories. The dangers of cholesterol and calories in our body. Most times, some of us, we eat things that we are not supposed to eat at our age. Even though cholesterol are very good, they are good for the male hormone, but then they are not good for our heart. There's a percentage of cholesterol that you are supposed to take in a day because already the liver is producing about 300 milligrams of it. But then most of us, when we eat meat, we like to go for all this uh, roundabout. Uh, when we eat chicken, we look for the skin because those areas are very sweet. But you don't know that they are loaded with cholesterol. Cholesterol is not good for our hearts. When it goes, it will block the arteries or the veins that supply blood to different parts of the body. You see that some of us, sometimes when we go to bed in the night, we will not wake up. Some people will be driving and they will die at the steering. And you will say, ah, somebody has remoted this person. They have sent something to him. They have killed him. And when you take the person to the hospital, the doctors will diagnose that he has a heart attack and that was why, that was why he died. But you will not know that what actually killed this man. If you wake him up and say, brother, sister, please tell us how you died. He will tell you that there was an explosion on his head. And that was how he gave up. Because of what? The cholesterol on the vein. It will just dislodge and then travel to the brain. And when it gets, it will just explode. And that person will just die like that. Let us control our cholesterol intakes. I said before, our liver produces 300 milligrams of it. We need it. We have the high density cholesterol and the low density cholesterol. We need the good cholesterol to survive. It keeps our body heat. But we don't need the bad cholesterol. When you see some of this oil in the market that sleep at room temperature, they are not good for you. They are loaded with cholesterol. Even the red oil that sleeps at room temperature, they are loaded with cholesterol. You avoid everything, butter, cheese, all these things. Even the kanda that we eat. Some doctors will tell you that it is very good. But I tell you that our skin is made up of cholesterol. We avoid these things at our age so that we can age well. Praise the Lord. Then we talk about calories. Calories, there are a percentage as an adult that you need every day. For an adult, you need about 2,500 2, to 3,000 calories in a day to maintain everything you do because calories is all about energy. For you to blink your eyes, you, you consume calories. For you to go to toilet, for you to perform any activity, your body needs calories. And each of these activities, there is a percentage that your body needs to, do, to perform that action. Praise the Lord. Now you see that you need this calorie for you to maintain yourself, keep yourself going for the rest of the day. But there is an amount that your body, you, you, will, you will take in, your body will reject it and begin to store it as fats. Because the end product of it is fat. We call it fatty acid. Your body will begin to store it as fat. So you don't need a whole lot of it. And that is why you need to know the percentage of calorie in the food you eat. When we talk about one piece of tom tom contains 11 calories. And we say a piece of yam, a piece of yam like 100 milligrams of uh, 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 yam contains about 150 calories. A bottle of mineral contains 150 calories. A piece of banana contains 150 calories. A bowl of jollof rice, like my handful, is about 350 calories. And then when you sit down, you eat all these things and you are not calculating. And before you know it, you will take more than your body needs. And when you take more than your body needs, your body will begin to accumulate it as fat. So you'll be wondering, uh -uh, why am I getting fat like this? Why am I getting fat like this? Some of us, as my brother said, we begin, you see our stomach will begin to shoot out. And when our stomach begins to shoot out, you see that you are at a high risk of diabetes and heart attack. Praise the Lord. So we need to control these things so that we can be able to live a healthy life. And once in a while, please, Go to your doctor, even if you are feeling fine. Go to your doctor. Do a medical checkup. Find out some things about your body. It will help us to age well. Praise the Lord. Lord, I just want to talk to you. And uh, by the grace of God, uh, our eye opening on how we can and be healthy. As, as a preacher, there are a lot of things that happen to you that you don't know. And the Bible says, let every man examine himself. 
there's every tendency that you examine yourself. Sometimes you are thinking that you're well. Sometimes you may be thinking that you're well. But if you can examine yourself and weigh it, you discover that the level you are now is not what you are. But you'll be managing when you are just thinking that you're well. You'll be managing. And you discover that that management, your management, your managing will get you to the worst stage. I just want to speak on a particular event that is happening in the entire world and it's caused by plasmodiasis, maralia. It is the activator and it's the, the accelerator of every type of sickness in the world. I want to advise you that when you begin to feel somehow in your health, when your, your brain begins to heavy you, when you are reading the Bible and you discover that there's no more cooperation in your understanding, you should know that the, the plasmodiasis have traveled as far as your brain and have started waking you. You need to see your doctor. Maybe you say, I've made or check up the last uh, uh, the, uh, months and I discovered that my malaria is low. Still go to your, still go for examination. Because maybe it has become high. And it may be accelerating a lot of things in your body. Those people, as many that have hypertension, it is one of the major killer in the world. In fact, there's a statistic that says that about 85% that die in Nigeria today is caused by malaria. Because at the point of their death, if you go to on the bed and at the point of their death maybe it has it's another sickness altogether that that man has been admitted in the in the hospital but at the point of their death you discover that the temperature they carry is high why the serulator is there malaria Secret, secretly it may be ruling over you malaria parasite travel all around the body they take place in your blood and they make sure they hide very well before they go out. They appear so sudden. Sometimes you can even go for your malaria test for the first time. The doctor, if he's not using a, a good device, he may just see the scanty of it. But the plasmodium will be on your blood. Will still be acting so much on your blood. Go for malaria treatment. Take it full. Some of us, when we are giving malaria drugs to take we just take some and you discover that uh, i am well you drop them it's not like that you're causing resistance to your body because they have causes you must take all the causes they gave to you and be at all time at all time anytime you have been given drug don't make this mistake by taking half of it and dropping it aside you cause resistance in your body so I want us to understand that you need to be examining yourself at all times. So that as a preacher, you're, uh, sometimes you are preaching, you discover that you're, as you are shouting, praise the Lord, you discover that your head is just doing pain, pain as if there's something swelling in your brain. You discover as you're talking, your head is just knocking you. Your system is changing. You're not well. If you maybe you finish and you went and relax and uh, you are thinking that Kai is all right with me now it's all right you need check up your body is complaining so there is every tendency for a med uh, for every pastor to understand this that you need check up at all times examine yourself as the Bible say to keep you going keep you healthy. Care well for your soul, spirit, and body. Make sure you care. Make sure you care. You know, some of us that are in the rural area, we don't know that uh, taking every type of water system may be harmful to your body. You don't have a water guard for yourself. And you go to the rural area, they just dip water, and anyhow you say, God, understand, and you take it. You shouldn't say, God, understand. The God understand if God will not understand with you at that particular time, you'll be in harmful. Because Marilia, the Marilia you see, sometimes the harsh 
their egg on the surface of the water and you take them it's another danger when you're taking them they can change to anything you discover that all these uh, uh, flies when they just fell on the food because you understand you start seeing some maggot there they have something and something can change to anything and start di disturbing you and you should be deforming uh deworming yourself deworm yourself at a particular time you just go to the clinic if you know them just ask them to give you warm uh, some warm tablets to take how you can deworm yourself is very important very very important because they are the activator of ulcer in your stomach they can cause they can cause ulcer to begin to be active in your stomach but anytime you take the warm drugs they suppress them and they cause moderate temperature in your stomach they are the one that cause heat in your stomach when they start behaving at uh, maybe you are fasting and they start behaving you discover that much heat will be generated in your stomach so deworm yourself at a particular time maybe you give yourself three months you take a warm dewormer and you get yourself free praise the lord the lord help us in jesus name maybe your own is herbal knowledge some simple simple thing your brethren can take to assist them please can you raise up your hand you have knowledge of some something if this happened like that take this if this happened like that take this is there anybody um, it's, uh, he has <laughs> do i say he has left the pharmacy business uh, you have a general knowledge to give you don't have this you don't have general knowledge and information to give come forward Raise up your hand first. Let me see those who you have something to say. Okay. Stand up now. Let me see you first. So it's only two of you. Well, I must confess I'm not an expert in herbal medicine. But there are quite a lot of uh, food uh, supplements that are natural that um, God has made available for us to add in our natural diets most of these things are some things we even uh, produce in our backyards which we may or may not know their health benefits um, obviously i have some here uh, with me because somebody some people wanted it in abuja here and my wife do produce them okay like like turmeric Turmeric is a, a rhizome, uh, like uh, you see onions, onions um, like uh, ginger is a rhizome. They belong in the same, in the same family. Turmeric can be grown in the backyard and it's available here locally. And um, if you log in into your internet, you will see much more than your eye can behold on the benefits of turmeric. Some of these things... Uh, can be taken in small quantities to add to our food. Turmeric, for example, is good to protect somebody for arthritis and for rheumatism. It is also anti-cancer and uh, is also prevent diabetes and uh, all some forms of heart disease, even hepatitis itself. If you have a system that can browse, you can log in even right, right as we are here, health benefits of turmeric, and uh, you will see much more than you have ever thought about. Um, there is also uh, the ginger that we take. Uh, most of the times we add ginger to our food. Ginger is good because ginger helps to control BP and stabilize us. Ginger is good for men uh, who have erectile uh, dysfunction. Ginger is good as an immune booster. Therefore, for those who have HIV, who are HIV positive, ginger is good for them. Ginger is also good for aging, anti-aging. It slows down the aging process um, of people. It also helps in stabilizing our BP. And for those who have diabetes, ginger may be good for them. 
there are some other products that come in they don't grow in this nation uh, they are imported from the middle east and from japan something like cinnamon cinnamon is actually uh, the back of a tree just the back cinnamon has some health benefits uh, it's good for weight loss to reduce weight those who are growing um, you know who are gaining much weight and they want to control their weight cinnamon is also good for type 2 diabetes it lowers cholesterol uh, in the system cinnamon is antifungal antibacterial and antiviral uh, has antiviral properties cinnamon treats parkinson disease and is anti-cancer as well cinnamon is good for pains and headache it is also uh, protects the body from free radicals that can cause most diseases in the body among this, the diseases that are imported into this nation as at now is what they call black seed as i said it grows in the middle east and also um, japan grows it as well the same also is good for weight loss it helps in uh, if somebody has cold uh, it's good for asthma and the uh, nasal congestion is uh, good for constipation and uh, if one is having sunburn or abscesses uh, black seed is is good it's an antioxidant as well and it helps to fight infection in the body another one is anise seed anise also doesn't grow here the raw materials are imported and uh, you add them to your food or you add them to uh, to tea you make tea with them and uh, you take them anise is um, is good for one who has bacterial infection it also prevents cough and bro uh, bronchitis it's good for somebody who has influenza and pneumonia and uh, uh, sinusitis. it's also good for those who are having hard breathing they're breathing very hard or shortness of breath anise is very good in stabilizing the body metabolism it also heals sleep disorder this one doesn't sleep well at night the person can take anise anise is also good for treating heart, um, heart pro um, eye problems these are taken in form of tea you make hot water and then you put them as you don't add any other thing however there is one that grows very locally here that we often ignore that is cocoa cocoa it grows in the west it grows in cross river area it grows in the southeast as well and uh, even though now they are exporting much of it and the one for local production and consumption is not much circulating cocoa is good to control um, 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 to control hypertension it prevents and control heart diseases it also prevent and controls diabetes cocoa is good for so many things in the system the bon vita and the overteen and the milo and all categories of beverage we take they are made basic ingredients or base is cocoa but um, because of profit motive they have added edible starch to it they have added a uh, uh, food colorant sometimes they add soya bean which is not bad anyway and then they add sugar that's why people who have diabetes cannot take bon vita um, or, 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 or bovita or these other beverages and when they have added these things the thing will be off you know cocoa is norm normally brown the thing will be off white and then they will put food colorants to bring it back to brownish color and they will put um, uh, some flavors in it it will smell nice it will taste nice but actually the nutrition factor has been reduced by more than 60 percent so i I want to say in my own layman's way that uh, if you want to take cocoa beverage, go for the one that has not had these uh, additives into it. As I said, I have some quantity of some of these products that my wife gave me for somebody in Abuja here as I was coming. It's just there at the back. Uh, she's looking for distributors, so I felt I should talk to some brethren. If there are people who may be interested to sell them when we came for December conference, she made contact with some sisters from Portacot 
and one of them is having a monthly turnover now of about 84,000 naira. And there's one in neighboring state that has a monthly turnover of about 65, and uh, at Asuka and, the, and, and Nimina. So many of them in Mina. So the products are available, and if there are some sisters or others who want to sell them on commission basis, uh, we'll, be, we'll be able to assist without any guarantee of any kind. Actually, most of these sisters that came, we gave them those products on trust. Except one of them, all the people we gave in the Portacot are doing well. But so one of them is still doing higher than six. She has not remitted anything the much. The knowledge now has gone over to so, so I'm sorry. So <laughs> I have them, some of these things at the back. I don't know whether I can show it. Anybody can see you for that. Okay. Mm. Let I see. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Any other person? Okay. Yeah. knowledge that is beneficial let's share it praise the lord um the bible says amen ignorant kills when you don't know what you should do when you have or you're passing through some situation it's going to have an adverse effect on you but if you know what to do uh, you can be delivered that is to say knowledge delivers well ignorant in bondages uh, the bible says it is the sick that has need for a physician when you are sick and you know you cannot manage yourself it is better you look for a physician I, I just want to report an experience I passed through for about a month ago um, I saw that some things were creeping in my ears as if as I'm noticing it's as if something is moving in my ear both the left and the right and in between they will, I will just see the, I will just be noticing the crawling so while I was with the military in one of my units I have um, uh, some directors medical directors Though by my posting, I am, uh, I am administering over them. I am an assistant director where they are full director, but my posting make me their boss. So uh, I remember one of the doctors I, I have in 68 Reference Hospital in Lagos uh, is the, a consultant of ears, nose, and throat. So I traced his number and called him. Um, I told him I am noticing some movement in my ears and I don't know how to go about it. He asked me to use olive oil. You know, I should be dropping olive oil in both ears for three weeks. I did that for three weeks. There was no change. They were crawling everything it's as if I am fertilizing them to do more. So I called him again, uh, but I continue for one month. I have finished one bottle of uh, olive oil and I moved to the second one. So this time it was getting to one month. So I said, instead of continuing with this experiment, let me report the situation. I have found myself. So I called him again. I said, till now, those things are still moving. He said, okay, I should not use the olive oil again. I should meet him in his own clinic. That was in Festac. So I went to Festac and got at him. He, he recommended some drugs, which is in his own clinic. He is a retired officer now. So uh, he gave me some ear drop and all that. As I was dropping this uh, liquid in my ears, uh, my right ears at a point just got blocked. If you are in my own right side and you are talking, I will not be hearing you well. Even myself, if I am speaking, it's as if I am hearing myself from the right ears. My voice is not getting back to me the way it used to. 
So I was wondering. I went into prayers. The creeping, the the crawling is. I'm still seeing more. I I called my wife. I called my uh, some brethren that are around me. We went into prayers. You know, to a large extent, I, it nothing was happening. But if I'm if I beat my ear like that, this one is sounding heavy. If I hit this one, it's very light. Hearing from here is easy, but this one was not. And coincidentally, the international director and our mama visited Lagos. And I was the one conveying them about. In the car, he was sitting to my right hand. If he is talking, <laughs> I will only assume that he is saying this. <laughs> and produce answer that is not corresponding to his uh, uh, questions. So, if they talk from behind, I will either bet better keep quiet or give an answer not related to the question. That was how I was experiencing myself. I was worried. I said, so how long will this thing happen to me? Is it that uh, deafness or is already approaching me gradually or what does it mean so how would ministry be now all my prayers has never blown out this obstruction so I called the doctor again he said I should come they used their equipment look when you look at my ears just like hunter's light so when you look at the two ears he said that this ear is better than this. I said yes. I said, as you are talking now, I'm only hearing you from here. This sight is obstructed. He said, they will carry out operation. I was wondering, operation, how will it be? So, a date was fixed. I came. He was not even the one that did his, the nurses around him. So, uh, and I went for x-ray that cost uh, 7,000, you know. When I brought the result of the x-ray, he saw he said, operation had to be carried out. So, uh, it is then I know that there are medical sciences beyond where we are. If you are ignorant of those things, you will be managing deafness while there is a solution to it. Praise the Lord. So, that's how um, the nurse came, mixed some water, you know, some chemicals, and so the, there's an equipment they put into my ears. The, this one, they will just be pressing it. A force will be coming from uh, that equipment into the ear and will be flushing the ear very thoroughly. It looks, it's in between pain. And pleasure. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But my entire body was involved. So I would see the flushing. You continue, you know, and there's a basin by, I was wondering, hell, when they do it, they would turn my ears, my ear to it. The, when she finished with this ear, she brought it to my friend and said, See the thing blocking your ear. So I was surprised that. There are substances that have formed, that have become hard and block the ears. I don't know how over the, a period these things are hard. Some, they're, they're like stones. Some, they have hardened. So this thing, immediately she finished with this ear. Even me, I know my freedom has come. Praise the Lord. Then, went over to the right ears. Right, the left ear, I also apply it there. And then I was given another ear drop. He said, drop once here, drop this one three times a day. As I started applying it, uh, I am hearing my brethren very well. I am hearing myself very well, you know. So I kept wondering, so I, I have recovered, so I can hear now, you know. And that was the period I also went to a Bonye. If Pastor Chris can take note, if he is speaking, I will have I will have to face him and 
keep asking him, eh, you say, you say, because I wasn't hearing well, and I don't want to announce that the chairman of the committee is a one year man. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, the point I want to make here is that there are solutions, even in medical senses, that are there, that if you approach the consultants, go the certain test will be carried out and your problem will be treatable. If you are ignorant of this, you will be managing your case, praying prayers that the solution lies in medical sciences and to help yourself better see a consultant when matters like this arise as i'm talking to you now i have become myself praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord I want to talk small on an issue that is uh, exempted and is not well known. That is uh, blood donation. Uh, Sometimes we feel sick, sign of malaria is there, sign of typhoid is there, and you go to small clinic, they give you anti-malaria, uh, antibiotics you take, the thing is not going, weakness of the body, headache. If you sit down and you stand up suddenly, you feel like uh, you are seeing darkness, blood vision. Uh, most of the time is high PCV. Your pack cell volume is high. And when it is high, it has a lot of risks in your system. Risk number one, it affects your heart. The pressure on your heart will be much. Also, it affects your kidney and your liver. And uh, when it is high also, as the red blood cells break down, it releases ions in your system, known as free radicals. They are unpaired ions, and they cause a lot of problems in the system. Also, because of the much ion in the system, it also predisposes women to uh, cancerous cells. It ignites their growth, even in men. And therefore, if you realize sign of generalized body weakness, headache, you are seeing blood vision. You just stand up to do something and you see that as if you are not seeing well for a little moment, please, you can check your pack cell volume. If it is high, you will be advised to donate blood. And when you donate blood, it reduces the free radicals in your system. It also reduces tension and pressure on your heart, your liver, and your kidney, the internal organs, and that will give you, uh, you find out that you become normal without unnecessary headache, unnecessary weakness of the body. And it is very, very necessary. It's just like the cars we are using. When you put fresh engine oil, after some time you see it become like it is waste. It is the same thing with the blood. As the blood is being used, there is uh, the red blood cells is being break down. It releases ions. Even though we release, we we remove some of this waste through urine, sweating, but it's not enough for the body to take care of that. So if you real, realize that, and you are at the age of 18 to 65, you are free to approach any national blood transfusion services and donate your blood. They will screen it free and give you the result free. And they are using ELISA, which is not used in any hospital. It's a high standard test to screen, to process that blood. They will spend like 72000 and it is free. And if you register with them, you are donating your blood there, they are checking you, they are maintaining you. In case something happened to you and you need blood, you approach them for free blood. Your wife, your children that are not up to 18 years for free blood is 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 a non-governmental organization but the federal government incorporated them under uh, federal ministry of health it is very very helpful recently one of our brother is a youth leader on the plateau he was having issues like that with his life and uh, they talked with our coordinator and they asked him to come and see me when we checked the pcv it was high 
who are telling him some people that have this PCV, sometimes you see them, if they stand up, you just see them, they just find themselves flat on the ground until there is equilibrium before they will stand up. So when we took his blood, after a week I met him, he said, oh, he is a relief because he has been visiting clinics, chemists and other things. So I said, let me talk a little on this issue of blood drenation. Because if you don't understand, you, talk, you will think that why should you give your blood? In fact, it helps you. It helps you very, very well. So that's a little thing I want to add on uh, what we have said. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, uh, how badly I don't know much, but when we're in the bush and we are taking care of our animals, we know what to do. Whether it's a snake bite to keep you from time. So those ones, if I will talk on them, will go bush. If we talk on them, will go bush. This grass, if something caught you, this is what you will do. It's like iodine. Those ones, they're in the bush. And they are common. That in, those, in those days, we use them very well. Or you are having a stomach bite, very terrible. We just go and look for one tree. Just bring out the, the root out. And then we give the person. And the person join, the, uh, join us, no problem again. All those ones, I cannot practically say they're here. You have to enter bush. And they are very helpful, actually. But I'm not here because of that. Uh, I am here so that these medical people can help people like me. Uh, those who know me very well, they discover that, that I'm climbing that step and I'm struggling to climb. Uh, I'm embarrassed myself. <laughs> Sincerely, I'm bad. Do you know that sometimes I will sit down to wear trousers? I sit down to wear trousers. All the jumping I'm doing here, to carry my leg and put in trousers sometimes, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a serious something. That's why uh, that the first night or the second night, I was lying down there. But I remember that if I lie down there, to, to stand up from that place would be a problem. Uh, presently now, I don't kneel to pray. I sit down to pray. I will get a chair to sit down to pray. And uh, other thing. Now, well, it's, uh, I know it's aging. I, that one I know. But I don't want it now. Is that I don't want it now. I still want to be jumping from one village to another, preaching the gospel, from one town to another, preaching the gospel. But this is the truth about myself that I have now. If there is a way that uh, even, to, even to put this, I call, even to bring it out now, it will take me some minutes to bring it out. It takes me some minutes to bring it because the hands are not turning the way, they, they, they are not free again. They are becoming stiff. But I am feeling okay. I'm feeling normal. Uh, the only thing I'm praying to God that I will not be blind. I will continue to hear. I will continue to have the ability to talk. And I will continue to go to evangelism no matter how far the place is. That's my prayer. And for whatever asthma, I think of Asthma came on me in 1989. 89. That's when I went to Cameroon. That's uh, Bamenda. Very cold. So, because I was young, I would just jump into the bathroom. They, they warmed the water to wash their face. I woke up around 2 and prayed till around 4. And I was sweating. No prayer that I <laughs> was sweating. I just jumped in the bathroom, bathed my water. What is it? Can you not wash your hands? I said, I've finished bathing already. That's, that's, I didn't know that I was accumulating some, some coal in my body. When I arrived Ecom, when I was coming back, there's something that happened that I know that something wrong is with my system. 
and I didn't know I, did, I, I didn't know asthma I've never seen a patient of asthma so no trouble I just get my intellect to put on my body handle it before I know it happened it was a full blown asthma terrible that when it begins I cannot move but I just told God all I want from you whether asthma will go or will not go I want to continue to preach I'm going to answer my prayer asthma will not kill me that's my belief so my only that when the thing come like that i'll say okay there's something i want to do in life and that is preaching i want to continue to preach not i will not lose my voice neither my sight neither my hearing neither my uh, any ability to do the work of god or to read and understand though i also discover you people, i think the doctors are listening to me i also discover that sometimes Sometimes my, my brain will become blunt. <laughs> that it, I can do something now, put something somewhere now, but it will never occur to me I put the thing there. <laughs> That's it. it will never occur to me. I will begin to bother my brain. But in those days, I will sit down and think to three days back, everything I've done, I will, it will come to memory. And, but now, <laughs> so... That, that's, that's, that's the difficulty I am. Thank you so much. So I don't know, sir. Maybe before we go, you pray for, uh, pray for, uh, pray for me. That, and the prayer I want. This sickness will go. Will, God will keep them where they belong. Well, after this, we're entering into prayer. But I have a healing solution for you now. Yes. For at least 10% of your problem. Yes, 10% of my problem. <laughs> okay. You, your forgetfulness does not mean you have any medical problem. No, no, no. I don't fear that at all. I am the one telling you. Okay, okay. It's all right. Because I have talked with uh, a neurosurgeon or yeah. rather a consultant. Yes. To know about this forgetfulness. Yes. He said it's normal. Okay. Because so, you are busy. You are so busy that your brain does not take a full capture of what you are doing. If you want to snap something, you know you balance, you focus on it properly. Yes. 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 Your brain has no time to focus. So as a result, the memory is not there that you did that thing. You have too many things to do. It's just like you have uh, 20, 20 people before you. Say, What's your name? My name is John. My name is Andrew. My name is this. It don't say, don't say. <laughs> because you need to imagine John. Okay. John. Oh, John. And your brain will connect you to so many Johns yeah, and yeah. add this one to it. <laughs> but you don't have time. Okay, John, Andrew. Yes. What's your name? Danjuma, oh, Danjuma, what's your name? Uh, uh, Chenike, what? It's difficult to pick those names. Okay. Very often you ask a person many times, what is his name? Just to ensure the brain captures it well. So because of that, because of activities, and also because of natural aging, Oh. You could have, for, have lapse of memory. Okay. That is not sickness. Okay. He yeah. said the lack of memory that is considered pathological is the one that some people else will observe of this person, not he himself. Okay. okay. They will just, ah, no, no, this man has a strange uh, forgetfulness. Okay. He shows something is not himself. Okay, okay. You get it now. Okay. It's some people that will be observing of him. Okay. And he may not even know because his mind is not even. Okay. He cannot co coordinate himself. It is that one that is a problem. Th 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 thank so, you. So 10% of your problem is solved. With this problem, 10% <laughs> have gone. <laughs> yes. Who, so, uh, yeah. it, yes. It, it, you don't hear the prayer request. No, he is coming to. I don't know who has solution, but let them be coming. Let's be fast. Are you coming for me? No, our brother will speak. Your 
Your own, just go in there, go down and be sitting. If God has something for you, you will hear it. Otherwise, your request has gone to heaven. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I am not an herbalist, not an expert. I'm also, I'm not a medical practitioner. But many times, like uh, Pastor uh, Mikhailo just said, there are so many roots or leaves that I know of. You have to see it. I'm thinking of how to present it. If I had known it, there are some I would have snapped. Maybe I will send to, I don't know who I will send to the WhatsApp. Maybe <laughs> we, are, we are always connected, Pastor Cyril. Okay, I will do okay. so. Ah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are some. I, I just want to mention the ones that I can easily get. And I know it works. My, one of the pastors I know, very old, old, old pastors, I believe there was a time I discussed with you that there's somebody, the same profession with you and so, my boss. And um, the wife was, was diabetic. And at a point in time, I'm talking about a real case. I don't know. At a point in time, we don't, people did not know why the diabetic control, that is, is it insulin or what, was not working. The drugs. So the drugs were not working. So she was still having, you know, her, she, in fact, she, by the time we saw around August of that particular year, three years ago, I myself, because people were praying for her, and everybody had prayed, and she too was used to pray. She was very lean, and everybody knew she was dying. They, nobody said it, but everybody knew she was dying. Because she was so lean that, in fact, to get up to walk from here to that your place would take a long time to reach there. So finally, I did not notice what happened. But my wife went to a program, a women's program, uh, which she was leading. And she was, she, he came back and told me, Do, have you seen you know, the senior pastor's wife? I said, what are, is she dead? He said, no, she's very healthy. I said, what happened? What drugs? Because they had gone to so many places. And she was dedicated to keeping their regime of drugs. So she came with a combination of two leaves. And one of them is so common. In fact, it's, both of them are common. I couldn't believe it. They said at the point in time, they actually had to stop the dr uh, drugs. They just regulated the food on our own. And so on and so forth. And started taking the combination of those roots. That is, they squeeze it together, put it in a glass in the morning and in the night. I think for two months. And true, when I went to see her, I think in January, I was shocked. It's just four months after. And I couldn't believe it because me, I'm very skeptical about these leaves. Like most medical doctors. Very skeptical. But I was shocked. I was shocked that it worked. So I told my wife, I can't believe it. Maybe she's made a mistake. She now carried me, showed me. These are ordinary, like one of them is ordinary flower on most people have it. And the other one is what people call hospital too far. How many people know that? Uh, hospital, too. hospital too far? Yes. How many people know hospital too far? <laughs> so, so it seems you have not heard of it before. <laughs> <laughs> what the name is given in that the, the leaf is multi, you know, multi it has multi healing qualities is it grown in the house everywhere will it be in the campground here i in fact when i was coming i don't know why something i don't know what i was telling my wife there are certain things i would have brought to plant here okay. but if i don't take permission it might look as if <laughs> you are going to do some witchcraft something. no uh -huh. you these things are supposed me. to be around here and uh, 
So two combinations, two flowers. So I now, when I came, to, I called Dr. Godwin. No, when I came to a program, he said last year or year before last, I called Dr. Godwin. I told him, since I heard he was going to these homeopathic practices too, he said, let me know it. When I mentioned, he said he knew hospital too far. But the other combination, he did not know. I said, okay. Now, when I went, I snapped that thing. I sent to him on WhatsApp. He, he couldn't get a clear, couldn't understand it well. The other one, for hospital far, he knew. Then he asked me to give him, to send him uh, both hospital too far and the other one by what they call, is it way bill? Okay, so yes, I took yes. it to uh, AKTC, that's a Quibum Transport Company. And I plucked those sleeves, packaged it, and sent it to him. I think when he came back, the other time we were serving, I don't know why it was last year's uh, youth program. We were serving in the kitchen because all of us were sent there. I remember he brought up a bottle of drugs. I think it causes something wonder drugs. I don't know whether he has sold it to anybody here. Something wonder. He has packaged it into a drug. <laughs> <laughs> he was, in fact, he saw my wife first. And the, in the, that is a women's conference. He was telling me, he was telling her, go and tell your husband. Those leaves he sent me, they are wonder. So when I came, he gave me the medical names for the leaf. That's botanical name for the, for the hospital too far. And the other flower. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry he's not here because he would have been the person to explain it clearly. He has turned it into a drug. But this woman, I don't know, but what people were saying is that Hospital Dover is very rich in vitamins. Richer than Moringa. About three or maybe up to seven times richer. You will see that if you drop it here, <laughs> even in a very dry season, you can come back very hard dry season. He will not die till you come back to see it again. It can grow to become a very big tree, you know, but it's not a very strong plant. So, I know of the hospital so far, and also the hospital so far is loaded with vitamins and many minerals that you, you, you can't believe it. That's what Dr. Gowen finally confirmed. So, the hospital so far, in many places now, is used as the preferred vegetable. It solves the vitamin needs they is solved eat, they eat it it's, it is edible in my in my house we don't in fact we have it all over so my wife every all of that's what we use so very healthy plant it cleanses inside it purifies so it can be planted maybe by next time i will export it to this side that is it there are so many things it takes care of so many things and like from Pastor God, uh, Godwin Drug, he told me it also anything that you know that works with diabetics will lower BP, blood pressure. That is what I was told. So it works also with you know hypertensive uh, conditions to lower heat. Now the other one I want to state is a very. It looks very simple. I don't know how many people knew know what it, vinegar, vinegar, a plant called vinegar. I have seen it before. Have you seen it before? Who has seen it before? Uh, Pastor Omar will see, will know. <laughs> it's very simple. Looks like these anise leaves. It's darker anise leaves. And uh, it is multi, you know, active in so many things. Then, one of the things is that we used to hear cholera outbreak in communities. And they were sending United Nations to go and stop the outbreak, then and so on. Because there are some peripheral, you know, diseases around cholera. Maybe, but the stooling is what re removes all the vitamins and the strength from the people that they die. I believe the doctors can tell us. So when they are dehydrated, so that is why in the hospital they will rehydrate them so that they can at least survive to be treated. But this vinegar. These are, they are herbs, like herbs. They can, if you plant them now, a few places, after some time, they will take over the place. There are so many. But what the thing does is an automatic. One of my brothers, they, one of the pastors that I came with is, is, is a witness. 
if there is a dysentery, no matter how difficult, there is a cholera outbreak, and you just a handful can take maybe about 20 people, a handful, pound it, just squeeze it, and the people will take it is an instant stoppage. Instant. It doesn't you don't need drug and what there are drugs to stop it, you know, the stooling, but I'm talking about something that is so natural. It has no side effect. Even a very small quantity can stop a community from dying. That's that what I'm saying. That's it's vinegar. It can stop cholera in a community. Then this other infection that take advantage could be treated. That is what I'm saying. So there are others that I know of, like bitter leaf. Most of us eat bitter leaf without knowing the medicinal aspect of bitter leaf. I have seen people who have taken bitter leaf and they are warned. I know of um, a person. You take the bitter leaf as a to, to lower sugar level. If you take it, that is for a long period. You, go, you can even be having low blood sugar. Like bitter leaf. These people you see telling you something bitter, cocoa bitter, all those bitter. Most of these things they go about selling. It's just bitter leaf. Just bitter leaf. Forget about whatever they call it. And so it, it purges, it cleanses the system. Bitter leaf on its own. Somebody said there was a woman I had, only one woman I had on NTA. She was I think in national route, whatever, whatever. They were developing it, I think, up north or so. He, she was telling the areas what should be planted. Bitter leaf in our east and all those kind of things. So I wanted to actually state those. If a person that has a high sugar level and he gets maybe a handful or two handfuls of bitter leaf, leaves, squeezes them and drinks like this evening and drinks like tomorrow, Go back and check. It might even reduce maybe to five or something. That is me. I know what I'm talking about. So there are things that are ordinarily natural, but it has this medicinal. There are so many I know, but some of them somebody has to show you because I don't know their botanical names. Even if you I mention the botanical names, it may have Igbo name or Hausa name, which you may not know. So what I wanted to emphasize was the hospital too far. And the combination, the hospital too far alone is enough vegetable. It doesn't have order. So that you can, any tribe or anybody can use it as ordinary vegetable. If you plant it in a place that is good for it, <laughs> within a period, it will, it will be enough. You will say, ah, how can I have it to be enough vegetable? It will be enough. It will grow and be enough. That combination, if Dr. Gowin was there, it would have helped us. So that he would have given us the, what he found out he has actually produced a drug from that thing I gave to him. So, vinegar, enough to solve this entry problem. Vinegar also reduces the blood sugar level. It brings this, what do you call it? Alkalinity. You become, your body, that's what the leaf also does. I have been told that if your body is kept at alkaline level, the level is, you know, more than acidic level, that means, you know, you will have less you know problems with sicknesses so they are they are ordinary things we pass by pumpkin for instance cucumber because many people some people don't even drink water much and many people like oranges or lime very acidic things then you have to bring yourself most people that feel very sick is just the acidic level and cucumber eat cucumber a lot vegetables like they say and I don't know how you call it in other languages it looks like watermelon it looks like melon but you have to cook it to eat it it's pumpkin you cut it if you cut it it looks some is yellow some is like that if you go to it Enugu aside some of them have some kind of wads on their body when you cut in the two before you you boil it when, as your body, some people throw away the water and eat the inside. Even the water will reduce your alkaline level. So you just, so your acidic, the acid level in your body, thereby regulating, remo some of these pains you see, you don't need to treat anything. It's just to check your, the alkaline, alkaline level. 
like somebody was mentioning uh, libido or men's, men's hormones I think a sister was mentioning there you discover that when your body has the level some of these things will work on their own they will function so those are the areas I wanted to emphasize Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to add one thing about uh, hospital too far. Before you touch it, you have to wear glove. Because it will, you, you know you talk to people you don't explain. If you go to touch it with ordinary hand and it touches your body, it will eat you like no man's business. So our brother had not told that him. So he would say, ah, they told you how to that too far. That is, he protects his leaves. So if you are going to go and pluck it, you have to wear glove. Oh, okay, yes, no. The leaf, the leaf attacks the body. Your flesh. Once you touch it, it will start eating you right there. So if you are not told, you will say, ah, what thing happened now? Well, that's the area I want to add. Praise the Lord. The hospital too far has no effect on your palm. It has no, on your palm, but on your, on your skin, if you go to rub yourself there. And if you are going, this is like a stem. You just carry a knife. It's just caution. There are so many leaves like that. So many leaves. That thing, I am thinking, that is what gives it. Is a sting, but this thing doesn't last long it may eat you but it will, it will just go away whatever whatever can you can maybe warm water just bath yourself with warm water or something like that cleanse it or any oily something it will remove this thing but what you do is that if you are going to pluck hospital too far carry a knife even with your hand you just look at where don't allow the leaf touch you just pluck it but when plucking it on your own it doesn't have, you won't feel anything on your palm it doesn't eat you on the palm. Even the round your hand, because they are already hardened. So it doesn't have any adverse effect. Maybe it's just like maybe trying to I think that's a medicinal effect. It has not it doesn't eat you when you eat it. There's no itching. There's no side effect on the stomach or when you go to stool. Nothing. It's a fantastic thing. Many is people it, just take it, drink it like that. Is it they a, squeeze it is and it eat. fruit? It's leaves, just a leaf, a, a plant. So nobody should be scared about that itching. It, it, it doesn't. It's just to be cautious when you are plucking it. it. Has nothing. It's not a. It's not a. A side effect. I want to just um, comment on um, supplement products. There are a lot of them from a lot of companies that solve uh, a lot of problems. I'm a little bit um, hesitant to emphasize them because they are very expensive. But there is just one aspect I want to give information about. The aspect of controlling sickle cell. Uh, because of information now, people get to find a genotype before they marry, so the problem of sickle cell may not be too common. But wherever is, um, it occurs, it's not always a good experience. Um, many times you see people spending their time in the hospital, almost throughout, with their children. There, is, uh, there are two products from Alliance Emotion Company, um, a supplement uh, product company, and it controls sickle cell very well. It doesn't change the genotype, but it controls from um, the uh, 
the age when it can be manifested and seen to the age of 18, there are these two supplements. One is my choco. The second one is complete. When this is administered, it controls the, the problem of sickle cell. The child will grow normally. The attacks or the crisis moment will not, um, will not will be reduced at zero level. And when the person reaches the age, the age of 18, uh, uh, some other more supplement will be added to make the person cross to 21 and 24. There is a case I handled recently. The people knew this family as being in hospital all the time. So even when the child was not in hospital, the, if the father is met, they will say, how is their child in the hospital? But eventually, a colleague uh, recommended them to me and administered these two supplements on the child. The, the family is so poor, they couldn't even uh, get to buy consistently. They bought, I think, two or three times. And um, since then, this child has um, become normal, goes to school, is uh, growing well. You know, the aspect that the child will just be stunted in growth, all of that seems to have been over. Uh, the last problem they told me was that uh, the child was complaining of a, a problem on the navel. I said, just continue taking it. And after that, that one too went. For months now, they have not gone to hospital and they have not even come to buy it again. So, uh, if you know somebody suffering or somebody in a relation has a child that is suffering, these two supplements can control uh, sickle cell and make the child to grow very well. Thank you. How much is the total the amount for a, a package? Um, it's about about 15,000 naira for two, the two products. For how long? That one can take uh, how long? It's the, all of them, they have the my choco is like tea. You just, like Bonvita, you can just pour in warm water and drink. It's 30 sachets. Then the complete is also 30 tablets. So it can take for a whole month. But uh, by the time, the, after first or second week, um, one can begin to alternate because one tablet of complete has about 16,000 nutrients. So if it's a small child, it's so much that he's taking. Mm. So um, by the time you begin to alternate, this today you take it, next tomorrow you, you skip, and so on. And as it saturates in the body, you can even skip for a week. Mm. So, um, until that crisis. But if it's consistent, the, the crisis will completely be eliminated. But otherwise, 15,000 in a month. 15,000 in a month. Yes, but I wouldn't even say it should be continuous like that. Ah. Yes. Don't you think that this is salvation of the Lord? Huh? Uh, it's a vital knowledge. Let's prove him by suggesting some people for him. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, Pastor James from Ben Wested. Uh, okay, 081. Zero eight one three seven zero two two five five zero. Brother Renze, you can also come forward. Uh. Praise the Lord. Uh, my own is uh, kind of health tips about the experiences of some people uh, on some issues. Sit down there. 
Okay. You know, sometimes it becomes very difficult for somebody to pass urine. The bladder is filled up to the brain. Urination becomes difficult. It is called by kidney stone that has blocked the urinary tract. It's called what? It is caused by kidney stone. Kidney stone that has blocked the urinary tract. That has not been... That has blocked the urinary okay, tract. Okay, blocked the urinary tract. Okay. Yes. He didn't have the experience. Then his fellow medical doctor told him what he should do. He did it. I got the result. Praise the Lord. Another one is about warm water and cold water. You see, cold water does a lot of damage in our body. Yet we don't know. Because there are a lot of people that, you know, like to take cold water, cold water from the refrigerator. Every time, cold water, cold water is causing a lot of damage in your body system. Yet you don't know. There was, you know, a research carried out by a team of Japanese doctors. I watched it live on, in the video. I watched it. Now, they put, they just drop cold water in a glass, drop another quantity of cold water, cold, warm water in another glass. Warm water, cold water. Then they drop oil into that glass of cold water. The oil was there. They drop it into the, uh, the, that glass of uh, warm water. The team melted. They said, as warm water has melted this oil, that's how it does it in the body. As this oil is congealed in the warm water, in the hot, in the cold water, that's what it does in the body. That people are taking warm cold water, cold water, and the, in, the oil intakes, you know, is increasing daily, and the thing is just congealing. The oil is congealing that it causes a lot of damage in the body system. It causes heart attack. It causes asthma. It causes a lot of problems that it causes. If I, if I have the, the data here now, I have it somewhere. I will write it to us. So, the said every morning for us to be free from all this problem, because many people are suffering ignorantly, a lot of sicknesses, people, you know, are carrying up and down. It's as a result of what they put into their bodies, into their bodies, especially water, through water intake. We should not be taking cold water, cold water, cold water every time. That is dangerous to the health. That in the morning, every morning, when you wake up in the morning, you should take four glasses of, of warm water. It should not be too hot, it should not be too cold, so that you can take with ease. Don't drink it. In fact, I tested it. The moment you take the four glasses of warm water, if we flush your system immediately, if you are not even, you know, you have not moved to go to the toilet, immediately you are going to the toilet. He said that's how it dissolves the oil content in the body and services our body about 30 something sicknesses and diseases that this warm water cures. It says sometimes, like asthma, there was one of our pastors in the state, an asthmatic patient. His own had been there for years. So when he met my wife, my wife told him to try that method. Every morning, every morning, four glasses of water. And any time you, you eat oily food, make sure you drink warm water so that it will dissolve it immediately. I'm um, uh, four ounces of water. What, what, what bottle, can it, is it equal to pure water or this uh, bottle water? Just if we, if, I think we can test it by using the four tumblers. I don't know the quantity. Uh, what, is it one jerry can? Okay, one, one liter of oil. One liter. Okay. Four glasses. Uh, uh, one Let liter me of oil, water. It's okay, go ahead. So, he kept on taking it because they said for asthma, I think about three months, consistently, 
be taking it every morning consistently, you will notice machiation. And that was what the thing, uh, that was what he noticed. He began to machiate. But let me tell you, as I speak to you now, the man is in order. Ashma is gone. Asthma, so, no ash. Asthma. 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 Okay. The T is silent. <laughs> <laughs> Asthma. Gone. Praise the Lord. So this is very real. Let's try the method. It's workable. God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, my own is three ways and uh, is practical too. Hallelujah. It came to a time in, like hospital too far, I planted it in my front. I don't know that it's hospital too far. <laughs> I will be sleeping. People will be knocking. Madam, I need this. Madam, you know women, they know how to get money. You started selling. I said, don't sell it. I plant it as a flower. The little people, ah, but when people from far places are coming, my wife changed face. I saw herself. But we don't know what it is. The people say, when they come, I say, hospital too far. Hospital to this one. They, they, ah. I discovered that they say they are using it as ogo, as vegetables. It's there now in my front edge, plenty. Now so you I got to replant it. You will go and start eating it now. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Even this jogolo, we, because I have a front edge very well, we plant it. And people continue coming and cutting, cutting, cutting. Free. Tell my wife know that this money. That I started selling it now. It, somebody will go and say 1,000. I said, no, 500. He said, enter house. 800, 1,000. Jogole alone, no? Even the seeds, we have all of them. So all those things are medicinal. So, but to me, a time in, I want to talk on environment first. Many of us sleep in air condition and rejoicing. They sleep in air condition. You sleep outside. I was sleeping in a place that's more than air condition. My own room, even when I'm still sleeping now. Not the window face filled and breezes come. So I just open glass and open with the mail I enter. Pray finish, I'll sleep. Till day, as they said, blood continue accumulating in my lungs or cool and whatever till I develop uh, pneumonia. Mm -hmm. And that then lasted for a period of time. I was suffering pneumonia. And uh, because of the environment, I don't know that it's the environment. I, till they come, they say, an asthma. Hi. A day I discovered it's a problem to me, it's a day uh, in the church where I look. I was the main leader, I was the elder, you know, give me offices. Saturdays we call, used to come work during the races because the road to our church is bad. So one Saturday we come, people didn't come. I have a shovel and the guy in my I went and carried a shovel, carry sand, I said, young man, I'm doing. Before two, three times, I could not breathe again. I nearly died. Every breathing ceased. Even to sit down. I sit in the cover there, started pleading blood, started pleading blood. Then I know that this thing has become a serious uh, matter. I consult, I started consult doctors. I have friends of doctors because I'm in full gospel. Many of our friends or people I'm leading at medical doctor. This one say, ah, just carry Ventolin, Septrin, uh, be complex and uh, this and drink. I'll be eating, the thing remains the same. I don't know that the drug I'm taking is fake drug. The day I discovered that I, the drug I'm taking and not working, I drive from Lafayette to Oka. And when I arrived at Oka, before I arrived, I could not breathe well again. I entered into a friend, a medical doctor. When I entered there, he said, oh, praise do you, you, do your car have a condition? I said, do you work in, I said, I didn't work in, I didn't put a condition even for one second. That was my car have a condition. I said, I didn't put it even for one minute. But this time, he said, where are you sleeping? I described, he said, that place is causing damage to your body. Say stop sleeping there. I accept that hour. Because of what? The breeze that is coming where I'm sleeping, the breeze that is blowing, that what causes that. Even sleeping in a condition without wearing clothes. If you the type of body you have, it will cause the same. As our, our Papa Mikael said now, breeze. So he said the place I'm sleeping, the breeze comes there too much. That water formed this in my body. And they told me that ah uh Brian said you have problem. Oh. I said, no, I don't have problem. It's a problem. Then he, he prescribed the same drug. I, so, but he mixed it for me and said, I should eat it. He gave me water. I take it in his office. Before, 20, before 15 minutes, not up to 20 minutes, my breath go down. But when I took that one once, it didn't settle. I breathe well. I said, ah. 
So be careful in taking fake work, drugs. Be careful. It damages things instead of creating. Praise the Lord. There was something I discovered on internet one day about how to balance your eye blood pressure. How to do what? Your eye blood, eye blood pressure. You take a clip. This clip we use for clothes. Put one here. Then put another one here. Do the same thing here. Yes, yes, pegs. That pegs. Then put your hands like this. For two minutes. The thing is painful. Yes, your hands. Put it here like this. Face up. Go and help him with the microphone. So you put, you put the clips like this. This clip we use for clothing. Yes. No, not all the fingers. This one here. And this one here. This one here and this one. Then you put like this. For about two minutes. In five, you can make one minute. It's painful. But by the time you, you come back, I mean, after that two minutes, your blood pressure will be normalized. <laughs> I tried it, but it was not easy. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you. Yes. Eh? This one. That, that is acupun acupuncture. Sir. I say acupuncture. Okay. This one and this one. Then this one. This, this, this one. one. This one. The second uh, and uh, this. Uh, Samuta, you are coming to show people. I'm going to put the microphone in his mouth. <laughs> this one. Yes. And this one. The same thing. This. Okay. Okay. Then you not put your hands like this. And then for two minutes. You must have to. It must have to be up to two minutes. Although it's painful. You know whatever some that is good is painful but endure it at the end your blood pressure will be normalized praise the lord for how long two minutes i mean uh, normalization is for how long i don't know how long but you can <laughs> but I'm, but for a long time so yes. from time to time you can be checking like that praise the lord another thing i want to say is uh, it bothers me a lot it's about our as minister our breathing system our breath i mean what that means our smelling I mean, concerning teeth. I thank God for our brother that is talking about us going to, to go and wash our teeth from time to time. But I discovered as so ministers, we, as I see, we are not concerned about how, when we are canceling somebody or when we are praying, the breath we bring out. For me as a person, from time to time, I check my breath. I do like it. To know whether my mouth is smelling. But sir, I'm telling you, so I minister, I mean, when I get to some of our, our brothers and sisters, ministers, um, I hold my breath. Sometimes I go back here. Why? Because of the odor that is coming. I'm sorry to say it. It will right here. You see? And I declare that even when you are fasting, it does not mean that your mouth should smell. Please, let's observe it. I don't know how we can help ourselves. You know, when you eat, some of us will see our teeth. Something is here. Blocking your teeth here. You look at our teeth. It's so, you can't, some people, you can't look at their, their teeth. It's blocked. And those things cause smell. They can call to your teeth to smell and your mouth to smell. So when you open your mouth like this, people will be going away from you. And you are cancelling somebody, your mouth is smelling. It's not advisable. So from time to time, what they can do, use something to blade. You can use it to be picking your teeth, clean all this thing. Because by the time you use blade to clean your, your up here and up here, you discover that there's some death. Smell it. I'm telling you, it's smell stinking. And then let's get toothpaste. That are good, something like Colgate or Sensodyne. I'm not a medical doctor, but I have seen differences. All this Ora B, all this um, close up, all this, some of them don't work. They only clean your mouth, but after some time, your mouth will be smelling. So please take care of your teeth and be conscious of how your breath is from time to time. See whether am I smelling. How many times I've been sitting there and I've been checking myself? I feel when, I, when I get near somebody that I'm talking to, especially a minister. To be candy and put off because of the bread that come out of the person. So please, God should help us to take care of our bread so that people we are missing to, they will not go away from us in Jesus' name. Yes, another person. Praise the Lord. Please let me also add this. Uh, in our unit, we go out for evangelism every Sunday. There was this Sunday. I didn't have money to join my people where they were. So I was worried. Even though my wife is not the same faith, he doesn't believe in all anymore. So he just advised me, why not pick your Bible and go around? 
So I decided to go. So God just directed me. I prayed. God, you directed uh, Paul to Macedonia. I want you to that. I want to. Do, I don't want to go to any house that will reject this message. So that Sunday, God just directed me to a place where I met some people. There were three in number, and this in that house, a woman was very sick, and they have Jehovah Witnesses. So when I went there, they decided to ask me so many questions. Why do Christians suffer? And so, by the grace of God, the Spirit of God took over. And I didn't know that the wife to this man was so sick. And if you see the type of building they are living, you wouldn't believe that uh, this man was working in an oil company. As the wife related to me, the husband sold everything and they came down to square one. After revisiting the woman, she disclosed things to me that um, she suffered from cancer and that lumps are here everywhere so i prayed with her i discussed with her as the spirit directed me so i told her i want to let you have assignment that assignment i'm going to give you is just give god one hour a day to pick your Bible, go find a place, a quiet place, and read and see what God is going to do. That you, God will be showing you certain things that you have to do then. And by the grace of God, she had revelation which she shared with me. I know those were points of prayer we prayed together. And um, by the time I will be going, she will be with socks because her feet will be very cool because of this and the first changed so when i also introduced her to this um, warm water therapy so she practiced and prayed on i want to tell you that that woman is healthy now joining us in fellowship even the husband she told me the husband when she's been coming to us, even at prayer meeting, the husband asked her, do they prophesy there? She said, no. What do, they, what do they do? They only pray. Only the word of God, they pray. So, I visited them from time to time. The husband called me, says, sir, I know my wife is well. I have seen my wife is well. So, I encouraging us to go out evangelists and also prescribe these medical tips to some of them god is going to work in them in jesus name thank you praise the lord i just want to in the area i have an experience during our training as Chaplaincy. First of all, I want to talk especially on that uh, hospital too far. It's normally known and popularly called Jerusalem Ogo. In North, they call it Jerusalem Ogo. They are selling it in the market? Je Jerusalem. Jerusalem Ogo. Do they sell it in the market? Uh, they sell, they sell, but not, it's not rapid as, rapid as uh, Noma Ogo. And uh, the stem, how do we plant it? We cut the stem and plant it. It's transplanting at any season. As you watered it for a few days, 15 days, it resurfaced and germinated. And how do we apply it as medicine? Shortage of blood. How do we get it quick? Because they say it's the uh, hospital too far. We squeeze it. Some use when you squeeze it, cut the leaves. Either you put glow or you don't have glow, you can cut it. Though the, it is just the liquid water that each your skin, not generally, and it doesn't take up to two, three minutes before the inching vanish. If you have Vaseline or whatever oil you rub, and that's all, you squeeze it, filter it. 
And if you like, apply tin tomato. That is just as quick as 10 to 15 minutes. The stone or whoever will recover. And then this present time that some people use a fresh tomato seed to add it to it, to quicken it. So that is just all about it. You can cut it and transplant it. And that's all about it. The other one, I received a lecture from my son. Through internet, he got it on cucumber. This cucumber help our sight. Help our sight. And it also help our system. You eat just a roll of cucumber in a day. Half in the morning. Half in the evening after meal. And that the same cucumber, you slice it. Slice it round, round. This area now is as a in a respect to our sight, if you are maybe walking on that sun and the lens of your sight is a little bit weak, you slice it. When you come back from your area of activities, you slice it round, slice it round, you lie down and just place it here at their eye for about five to ten minutes. Sometimes you can even sleep up. When you wake up, examine your eye. The, the sight, the lens are strengthening. And then it's, it's also uh, advisable that as it respect to the sight, we should not read under the sun. Read your book under the sun. It's very dangerous. Because by the time you read under the sun, come down to the shade open your eyes you will see that your eyes are dimmed dark darkened so it's not advisable to read under the sun and some people abuse this uh, medicated uh, glass or speck do i call it yes some is natural some little ones burnt up to seven to 10 years you discover they are they are using spec it's sometimes natural and then sometimes age matters we were lectured that as age of 40 above try to help your sight length depends on the nature on the grace you have some grow beyond that and even old age they didn't use glass Praise God. But some grow approaching 40, 35, they started using glass because they have sense, they are sensing something. By the time you neglect or abuse that grace on using that glass, by the time you are reading, when you are at 40, above, by the time you read, you discover that the sight, the length of the sight is weakened. When you read, you discover that you, the one line will be doubled. Sometimes your eyes will be dimming. Sometimes your eyes will be watering. Go for checkup. And then let them specify on the, the, the spec, the, medical, the medicated uh, spec that you are going to use. It's a high size by size and number by number. We have a plus 75. We have plus 25. We have plus 50. It depends on the level of their sight that you have. Those that are using the mitigated uh, uh, spec, they know what I'm talking about. By the time you use this one that is called general, everyone can use that if you are having such a problem. So, let us abide by this as ministers. As ministers. It's not somebody came and told me, that he said, that I, I, I'm too young to wear this glass and be reading. I say, well, it's not anything shameful. It depends on your nature. We have different nature. If your nature now has permitted you to go for the, the, the speak, go for it and then examine, let them examine 
the, eye, the sight of the eye, how strengthening it is, how weakened it is, so that you can also be using this. It's not anything shameful for you. It is not only the old men that use this speak. So I think uh, we have to abide by it as ministers. To it will help us. Like myself, I always walk by it because at, by this time now, after all my examination, I have spoken like this for years past that I will not use speck in reading. But when I came to the level, I discovered myself the signs that we were taught, I began to see them. So I'm using my glass and I use it on only reading. After reading, I remove it. So some, when they have the bad sight, they will give them the specific one that uh, they will be working. Some don't even walk like that without that speck until they go to bed. So we can be seeing such things like that. So I pray that God will give us the grace so that we will not abuse the grace of God upon us in our administration, in our field. So that we will, add, we will grow to the old age and still preach the gospel as God has given us mandate. Um, God help us. Praise the Lord. I want to talk of uh, erectile dysfunction. Very briefly. As if you read the book of Timothy, Paul was advising Timothy, uh, he said, take not only water, but you should also take wine for infirmities in your body. You discover that our cells works and that sometimes there's crashes. As you're standing so much like this, you discover that when you stand to an extent, there are crashes in your waist and your joint. Uh, there's infirmity there. And you need some things to rectify it. You go to understand that when somebody is on fever, the person becomes lost of appetite. It works in the body. Your body systems, they are alive. And they, they work by themselves. The reproductive system works by himself. Uh, you can't do otherwise if it's not working. So in the erectile dysfunction, you discover that when this happens to you, and many a times people will say, ah, taking drugs and uh, going on this is bad. No. When you have lost of appetite, there are drugs to appetize you. There are drugs to make you eat. If you take them, you discover that they will bring your appetite back to you. And it's not bad. You continue yourself. And in re erectile dysfunction, you also discover that sometimes you are weak as a man. And uh, as you are advancing in age, you discover as, as our father was saying, Baba Mikaru, he discovered that he says he's no longer growing. So some other time he need to stimulate them to begin to function. Uh, but I would just advise him very quickly by, like him, he will have to go to the hospital and make some tests. He's diabetic free. He will be advised, or ulcer free, he will be advised to be using some analgesics drug that stimulates you and kill pains and you've discovered that if you're using this analgesics all this you're feeling weak sometime and sitting to wear your trousers if you take them they will stimulate your cells and kill the pains that are around the knees and waist and cause you begin to begin to do some things normal so in erectile dysfunction, there are certain group of drugs that are good to stimulate you back. It doesn't kill your cells. It doesn't make you weak. Maybe uh, in the future term, there, there's no effect. There's no uh, kind of uh, 
maybe this advantages about them they only stimulate you at the time you are lost of appetite and the system is weak we have one of them we call it tadalis it's original tadalis you can write them down tadalis is very original yes i will write it for you tadalis is very original and it can only stimulate you and bring you back and keep you going we have another one is called revive revive it will, can only revive you it will bring back those necessary vitamins that are necessary for that and cause you move moving you discover that when paul the apostle was talking of don't take only water drink wine and you discover that in taking wine wine has vitamins wine is not just a uh, compound of water no you have other several vitamins that can kill infirmity and stimulate you and cause you going so there are other vit vitamins and mineral drugs that are good they don't cause problems to your body at all they don't make you weak they only they are added to your food to to add more vitamins to your food you discover that the food we eat now because many people don't know how to balance their diet so as a result you need to have these vitamins around this minerals capsule buy them if you buy them you're taking them some of them are 30 in one sachet and it's advisable to take them every day times one month once you take them like that you discover that you give yourself three months they are inside you stimulating you any food you eat they are secreted to balance your food they give you a normal movement they stimulate you they make you healthy sometimes you 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 make they they secrete they secrete from the body they secrete from where they are storing and come back to your body system and add it to the food you eat and you discover that you are more healthier and strong i still want to talk on and this uh stimulant in a local way which i knew um well, a lot of people take them uh this uh korean what the leaf this uh gregechi leaf how do they call it moringa moringa yes moringa and uh ginger as you grow to this level of your age you need to be taking moringa and ginger because ginger is a stimulant and moringa also help the body is exercise the body so as you constantly you are taking them you're taking them you discover that you'll be stimulating the body at all time and it will work normal praise the lord thank you very much yes <laughs> You don't, your hands cannot touch well. Others refuse to clap along with you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, there was a piece of information I forgot when I came up to speak. I don't know if some of us are aware that the foam from generator is very, very dangerous to the health because it contains carbon monoxide. A family, there was a pastor that traveled for a conference when we were in deeper life in those days, in Imo State, on Hajibema, local government. So he traveled for a conference, uh, left a wife, I think four children at home. In the night, they put on the chain and then where they were sleeping, it's like the place was open and the foam from the generator was going right into the where they were. And then in the morning, all of them were found dead. The wife, the four children all died instantly because that foam seizes the breath immediately. If somebody is sleeping and the thing is they are mixed up with the air, is destructive to the health. Very, very devastating and dangerous. It happened in Amok to Onega. A man, a prominent person, a young man anyway, but prominent, 
And uh, he just put it also, put the generator, this, uh, this pass, small type. I passed my neighbor. I passed my neighbor, yes, sir. That one, the one they call I passed my neighbor. He just put it there, close to his room, just there. And the thing was steaming gently. In the morning, he was found dead. I'm saying this so that if you have not known, you have to know. If you own your chain, don't allow the don't don't put it close to where you are or where you sleep. It should be in a designated place for generator, where the foam is going directly out, not to where you are, because it's dangerous to health. If you have not known, please take good note of this. Thank God bless you. you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I just want to talk about uh, typhoid. Typhoid uh, malaria is dangerous, but there is, is short medicine, I mean, natural medicine that can cure it. If you can get a uh, purple leaf, put it in a pistol and mortar, pound it. Then squeeze the water and put it inside a cup. Then put half of tin of milk, dilute it, and drink it. The typhoid is gone. Then if you have a... Is it both typhoid and malaria or typhoid? It can cure both malaria and typhoid. Purple leaf. Especially if you can get the one that... Uh, they call it a uh, male... Purple, purple leaf. The one that doesn't have a seed. Uh -huh. it's that, the one that produces flower. But so if you have it... But all purple leaf can work. All purple can work. The, the one that is more effective is that one without, I mean, without a seed. So you put it inside the mortar and pistol, pound it, then remove the, the what you have pounded, then squeeze it. The water will be, I mean... This, this something will be very thick. Then dilute it with pig milk and drink it. Either um, a mortar or blender. Or blender or anything. Uh -huh. Just make sure you squeeze it. Then uh, if um, the person, that, because that thing is very, very, uh, I don't know Bitter. what I can call it. If you are not, uh, your, your blood level is somehow, I mean as in, if you are anemic, it can affect you if you don't put milk well. You understand? Because uh, you have to take a small quantity. And before you, before you... How many times should you do that? Sir? How many times can that be taken? If you have once, if you uh, take it once, it will be okay. But, but you if you still discover... Page. Because normally, we take it once in a month. In my family, yeah. because we are... We are Living that time, we have a mosquito infected area, so we normally take it and uh, it kills either malaria or that. We don't even, you know, see it. Then, uh, if, if you have a sort of blood, like they said the other time, you can use a bottle of Coke and a chassette of uh, this uh, thin tomato. That's tomato. Normal. Uh -huh. Chassis of tomato, you cut it either Dino or the Rica, you mix it with Coca Cola. If you have short blood, you instantaneously. Then this Ugu Ugu and the make too. I have experience that one of my son, my first son, has problem that time. So my wife took the boy to the hospital and they diagnosed that. Don't share the CDs yet. You will be distracting attention. So they diagnosed that the boy need to take blood. They have to ah. So she quickly ran to me in the office that this is what they told her in the hospital. I said, no, don't do that. Just go and tell them that they are, you are not taking blood. They have to force her to write something, the sign that she was one that took the baby, and if the baby died, that she's the one responsible. She just went and went that to meet our uh, pastor, Mrs. So when we got there, she said, don't worry. Just sit down, put the baby down, and you get Ugu. 
and the milk. I think maybe they had moats or something like that. That is what the boy took. Ogo, after that ugu, that ugu leaf. Ogo leaf. Ugu leaf. You Wait. squeeze it. Uh -huh. Hard. If you want to want it to be more effective, you can hide. Uh, you can use malt to you know squeeze it. Don't use what I use that malt. Put it inside malt and squeeze it and flitter it. Hard milk and take it. Very very effective. That is what the boy used. And when after two weeks, she went back to the hospital and the boy was okay. God bless you. Wonderful. Are you enjoying the thing? Okay, our brother at the back. Praise the Lord. I have a little experience which I want to share with us too. I know it will benefit every one of us. Amen. The area I want to talk about is this watermelon we eat. Many of us don't know the importance of the bark we throw away. As a matter of fact, that bark we throw away, it is the main thing in watermelon. That bark. The best way to eat watermelon, when you buy it, just wash the bark. Eat it alongside. Yes, it's very, very medicinal. It cures malaria, it cures fever. You will hardly be sick if you eat watermelon constantly with the bark. You will hardly experience malaria high fever, typhoid fever, you hardly experience it. So it's highly medicinal. So please, anytime you go to the market, you buy watermelon, the best way to eat it, wash the back alongside and eat it. Yes, the oibos, what they do is, when they buy watermelon, that back is their juice they drink. They will blend it and drink it. That is their juice. They will not eat it raw because lack of uh, finances, many of us may not have the machineries, the instrument for blending. So you eat it at the back. But if you had the machineries, you peel the back, you blend it, you drink it. No part of it is wasted. No part of watermelon is wasted. But oftentimes when you see people buying watermelon, they are only interested in the inside. But the back of it is a main thing. Praise the Lord. And sometimes, this bitter cola we see is also highly medicinal. And how is it medicinal? That bark of bitter cola you throw away is the main thing in bitter cola. But many people don't know. That bark we peel and throw away. That bark is highly medicinal. If you eat this thing constantly, you will never experience malaria fever, all these things. But many people often, when I say you're buying it, I, you see them peeling that bark and throw it away and eat the inside. The inside is not a mating. And likewise, this granite we eat. Many of us don't know what the bark of granite is. Many of us prefer the one that the bark is peeled. But please, don't do that. You are eating chaff. You are eating chaff. Those who are eating that one that is peeled, you are eating chaff. Buy it, eat it alongside with that bark. Yes, that That's bark. After you have removed it from the pot. Then don't allow, don't squeeze it from. Uh, yes, by the uh, time they re back. Yes. Those yes. ones that are fried, if you go to the market now, people fry it and put it in that bottle. That back they peel and blow away as chaff is the written. Don't throw it away. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, another thing I want to talk about is that concerning this health, health, we are talking about a uh, purple leaf. Also, purple seed, the seed, that purple seed is also highly medicinal. That seed, it cures malaria expressly. That seed, it cures typhoid expressly. However difficult it is, that seed, chew it and swallow it. Just chew it and swallow it. It cures typhoid fever expressly a handle it once the fever you will go to the market spend tyres of mon nara you won't be able to get purpose it we undo it with ease praise the lord so please all these things are important for our consumption the lord will help us in jesus name when i was sitting at the back there i see that these areas have not been touched i said so let me come and also add my own little input so that 
we will all continue to move forward. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Our God that created us is a good God. He has embedded everything, has packaged everything in the work of creation for us. Amen. Um, I receive an information on the internet. I will start with uh, uh, House Lizard. Uh, house Lizard. Called Wall Gecko. Yes. Many of us have this in our houses. Scientific uh, discovery has proving world gecko to be very very toxic poisonous dangerous and there is a way to get them out of our houses a woman carelessly opened her soup and this world gecko fell inside unknowingly to her served the soup herself and the children died so uh is causing too much danger at various homes these days that to, er to eradicate it totally in our home just mix salt with garlic mix salt with garlic and sprinkle it in some corners of the house they will vanish world gecko salt and garlic mix it and drop it corners of your house world gecko will run away that's number one I want to buttress, uh, so, some of us have spoken concerning bitter leaf. I want to buttress it. How much do you know about bitter leaf? Bitter leaf, also known as Veronia amygdalina. That's the Bokanka name. In scientific parlance, it is an aborigine of Africa. It can be cooked, juiced, or chilled raw. Regular consumption of this vegetable helps to regulate blood cholesterol levels which is a risk factor for heart attack and stroke. Bitter leaf is rich in proteins, vitamins, and minerals due to the presence of nutrients, especially beta carotene. It, contain, it controls the synthesis of female sex hormones. This allows women to stay younger and healthy for a longer duration of time bitter leaf bitter leaf has been shown to significantly lower blood sugar levels it does not only reduce blood sugar it also helps to repair the pancreas the plant has been widely used and recognized for its efficacy in preventing malaria drinking the juice alone is an antidote for malaria Consumption of the plant is helpful in increasing milk production in breastfeeding mothers. It increases appetite in anorexia, that is loss of appetite. It's also useful in treating sleeplessness, that is insomnia. And boosting immune function. It can be utilized in the management of cough, hemintiasis, that is worm infestation constipation and fertility inducers there are strong revelations that bitter leaf is incorporated in the diet can slow cancer growth and even kill cancer cells bitter leaf amen then i want to talk about uh, cockroaches in our house in our houses cockroaches are disgusting insects or better said pests that thrive in houses particularly in the dark and warm places these pests carry dangerous diseases there are many different ways in which you can get rid of cockroaches but most of the products specially created to destroy these pests are loaded with poisonous 
chemicals called carcinogen. Carcinogen, sorry, carcinogen. Most of this pest control, like uh, insecticide, they, are, they consist carcinogen. So most of this uh, perfume, they consist carcinogen. Anything we use is carcinogenic. It's very, very toxic. It destroys our cell and produces cancer. Also, I want to hear that I heard from a scientist that cancer is not a disease. Cancer is not a disease. Cancer is a deficiency. Cancer is caused by carcinogenic things we inhale. When it comes into the body system, it destroys a vitamin called vitamin B17. When you lack vitamin B17, cancer will erupt. It's just like when your body lacks ascorbic acid, vitamin C, you begin to sense spores, wounds on your body. So, likewise, vitamin B17. And there are three major things that we are missing out of our fruit intake. Like our brother just uh, spoke here concerning watermelon. Um, watermelon is best eating complete. Uh, the seed, the black seed inside the watermelon is 100% vitamin B17. The apple that we eat, there are some black black seed inside the apple. They are 100% vitamin B17. If you take them at normal rate, cancer will not surface in your life, in your body. Also, um, this peer, peer, uh, that the seed, the peer seed, after you finish the peer, the seed inside of it is 100% vitamin B17. You crush it, you make it a powdery form, you can sprinkle it on your food, on your tea, you take it, you are very rich in vitamin B17. Some, that person said, the specialist on cancer treatment will never allow people to know this secret. That cancer is not a disease, it's a deficiency. When you love vitamin B17, cancer must come. But when you take all these things, you discover that cancer, even if, if it has started, it starts, grow, it starts uh, going gradually. Gradually. Amen. Another thing I want to uh, put across to us is some, that is something on our belly called belly button. Belly button. That is uh, our umbilical knot. The umbilical knot. Inside your stomach, there's something around here. They call it belly button. Our belly button is an amazing gift given to us by our creator. A 62-year-old man had poor vision in his left eye. He could hardly see, especially at night, and was told by eye specialists that his eyes were in a good condition, but the only problem was that the veins supplying blood to his eyes were dried up and two, he would never be able to see again two minutes more all right sir according to science so the first part created open. after consumption takes place is the belly button after it's, it is created it joins to the mother's placenta through the umbilical cord our belly button is surely an amazing thing According to science, after a person has passed away, the belly, the belly button is still warm for three hours. The reason being that when a woman conceives a child, her belly button supplies nourishment to the child through the child's belly button. And a fully grown child is formed in 272 days. That is nine months. Now, Applying oil, no, the belly button is situated behind the belly, that is this small thing here, which has 72,000 plus veins over it. The total amount of blood vessels we have in our body are equal to twice the circumference of the earth. Applying oil to belly button kills dryness of eyes, poor eyesight, pancreas, over or under walking, cracked ears, leaves, keeps face glowing, shiny air, knee pain, shivering, lethargy, and joint pains or dry skin.
skin. Now you just drop three drops on your belly button at night before you sleep. Coconut oil. Coconut yeah. oil. Is that uh, only coconut oil? Not only coconut oil. You can also use uh, castor oil. Castor oil. Olive oil. Uh, olive oil or coconut oil at night before uh, bedtime. Put three drops of mustard oil also. If you have mustard oil on your belly button and spread it one and a half inches around your belly button. When you put it, it passes through the veins, lubricate them, and some things are naturally corrected. God Praise bless you. Now, you know, when this food supplement, right, I mean, when food supplement companies, right, all the supplement can treat, the federal government of Nigeria tells them to write also that these claims have not been proved by the federal uh, by the ministry federal minister of health is that so so remember that all these claims have not been proved by federal minister of health if you are trying try thank god there are no poisons uh, that's all if it works for you praise the lord praise the lord I want to throw more light uh, on Moringa, benefits of Moringa. The Moringa tree is in daddy's house there. It is there, but most people don't know the benefits of Moringa. Somebody have talked a little bit about Moringa, but I want to throw more light on Moringa. Moringa is a plant that all the parts of that plant is medicinal. In 2011, I was watching the television back then in Cameroon, and I saw somebody uh, advertise Moringa on the screen, and. Uh, I went to her and uh, she told me about Moringa and I attended uh, a seminar on Moringa and I've done research on Moringa even on internet and uh, it, has been, uh, uh, it has been shown that Moringa has a lot of benefits. Moringa leaves, when you get the leaves and grind the, the leaves, the leaves are very good because I've, I've done marketing, I've done marketing Moringa for some time, although I'm not really into it now, but I still use it. And uh, I have testimonies of people that have got their treatment through Moringa. So Moringa leaves, uh, when you grind it, when it becomes powder, it is very good for hypertension. Although it doesn't treat hypertension completely, but it helps to reduce the level of hypertension in uh, the victim. And it is also very good for diabetes. When somebody is sick for diabetes, it takes the seeds of Moringa. I mean the seeds now. When you take the seeds of Moringa, chew the seeds of Moringa uh, three times per day. Three, three seeds because they are just like granite. You don't peel it. You uh, chew the, the seeds three times per day. It helps greatly in diabetes. And the seeds of Moringa, uh, I have used it by the grace of God on some people. So these children that have this, uh, uh, what they call a ringworm on their head and some type of things on their head. Some women come to me and they said their children have those things on their head. And I, I'm not a doctor. I'm just uh, serving the Lord and preaching the word of God. But some of these things, we need to actually, God is behind this thing. The Spirit of God is upon this thing. God is there uh, for our good health. So those women came to me and were telling me that. I said, let me try. I have heard about this thing. Let me try and see. So I told them the prescription, uh, how we have been trained in the seminar and how I got the research on the internet, the training I get on the internet. And I told them, go and grind the seeds very well and mix with oil. They, they went and mixed and grind the seeds very well and mixed with red oil and applied on those spots uh, where the ringworm and all those things are on the head. Are, and they came and testified that when they applied, the thing vanished, the thing disappeared. So Moringa is very good. When you uh, uh, harvest this, the leaves of the Moringa, don't dry the Moringa in the sun because when you dry the Moringa in the sun, uh, nearly all the virtues, the, the, the sun will kill all the virtues in the, in the Moringa and you, you don't have anything. So you dry the Moringa where there is, uh, uh, where wind is passing, where there is air, not in the sunlight. After about five days, the leaves will be dry. You can grind them. Maybe if you don't have machine, you can, you can, you can use mortar and pound them very well and you spray it in your food. The way you take the leaves is that you spray it in your food uh, one teaspoon. Anytime you want to eat. As we are talking, I have my own in the hostel now. 
when I'm eating my uh, soup, I put uh, a quantity in it and I eat. And those uh, people that uh, have done the real research will tell us that when you eat it regularly, it goes and maintains your body. Uh, you, your, 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 it maintains your body from external sicknesses. It fights sicknesses in your body. And it also maintains your body from other sicknesses that may, that may attack your body. So Moringa is just like you build your fence. When you eat it regularly, it's like you build your fence. You put a uh, uh, fence all over, put gate everywhere so that the thief will not enter into that compound. So it is like that. You, it protects your body. And also Moringa, when you take the, the leaves, the, the, the leaves that have been grinded, uh, it is always said that, uh, or the researchers have told us that when you are getting aged from, from 50 years upwards, the cells in your body, they begin to die. So for you to rejuvenate or bring to life those cells in your body, when you eat Moringa all the time, it will uh, uh, quicken those cells and it will, uh, it will help you to be more fresh. It will give you more strength. I've witnessed it. Anytime I take Moringa, I'm very busy. I take it all the time. It gives you more strength, more energy to do what you, you, you are supposed to do. And also, Moringa leaves, when you dry them, you can take it as tea. When you're boiling it, stand beside uh, the, 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 the fire where you're boiling it. It should not bubble, because when it bubbles, the, the, the nutrients have been destroyed. So it just uh, warm it a little bit, and the water will come out. It's brown. It's very good. It's not bitter. So you can just add uh, uh, milk to it, add sugar, or you add another thing, and you drink. People have testified, women have testified, that when they drink the leaves or the tea of the leaves, it helps the menstrual problem. Moringa also helps those that cannot sleep. If you have problem of sleeping, when you take Moringa, I'm telling you, they take the leaves as tea. You are going to sleep like a newborn baby. I'm telling you, I've experienced it. People have testified. So Moringa, oh, thank you. So he testified, he says it's true. So when you take Moringa all the time, it, it, there are a lot of other benefits which I cannot, I was not well, well prepared for this. So it, it helps a lot. Amen. So the back of the Moringa is also good. The leaves are good. No part of Moringa is useless. All the parts of Moringa, the leaves, the back, they, they, they use the back of the Moringa. I mean, the, the back of the Moringa, it is, it is when, when they remove the back very well, they can use it to make, make backs. You know, it's like uh, ropes. They can use their ropes to make uh, traditional backs in some countries uh, where this thing is well, um, is well utilized. In some countries where they know it very well, they use it for a lot of things. So, if you go on the internet, just Google, Google Moringa, benefits of Moringa. You are going to get more about Moringa. When I started it, I, I was marketing it. I will, I will, I will nurse the, the, the seeds. And people will come and buy the seeds that have been nursed. And they go and plant it uh, in their farms. Don't plant it where it, it, is, too, uh, it is too muddy. It doesn't like... Uh, 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 muddy place. They don't even like swampy place. Place that is too swampy. You plant it, it will not grow. So it grows well where there is sun and when it's growing, when you plant it, you succeed to plant. You can take the seed and just plant it on the ground where it is better. You, you dig the ground very well and put it there. You can put about five seeds or six seeds. Among those seeds, you may have one or two. And then you begin to nurse it and it's growing. You cut, you cut it. Don't allow it to grow. You cut it, it will then have many branches. The more the branches, the more the leaves, the more the seeds for your benefit. Amen. So that's for now what I can say about Moringa. Just go on the internet, you get it. You are going to have a lot of benefit. It can help your family. It will help to, to treat a lot of sickness that would have spent a lot of money to go to the hospital. And many have come and they said they have they, these sicknesses that have gone up and down. It's not working. And just Moringa, by the grace of God. We attribute everything to God. It is God. It is not even the Moringa. It is God that is in it. The power of God in it. And many have been treated uh, through Moringa. So that's the little I can say about Moringa for now. God bless you. Thank you. Who is the last person speaking? Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for the message. The message talks about care oh, well Lord. for your spirit, soul, and body. Though most of our contribution now is only on the body. Let's not forget we're also talking about the spirit and the soul. Praise the Lord. I want to uh, point out that most of our contributions, I thank God, have gained a lot. But let's remember that this 
most of these are claims that are yet to be substantiated. Praise the Lord. So that people will not get the message and say, Horemoth says this. Horemoth says you will use this. That is not what uh, we are talking about. Most of these are individual claims of people. Some from experience, practical experience. Some from literature also. Praise the Lord. The medical institution is there. They are like the pharmaceutical research institute we have in Abuja and some other places. Many of these claims are being brought. Unfortunately, when investigations are done, most of them are found out not to be true. I'm telling you fast now, but many are true. Some are true, but uh, like when our brother was saying that this one is 100% uh, is it vitamin 17 or I don't know what you are saying <laughs> praise the Lord so we approach it from a layman's angle and many of these things we allow it to go like that so someone was saying that there is one that contains how many thousand uh, vitamins or nutrients I was surprised how many nutrients and vitamins do we have that one particular something will have so many thousand so let's not make boisterous claims the one you are sure of practically that you have seen say that one like these uh, supplements marketing some of these uh, is it gnld tian shi all these ones they make claims this one will cure this there are some terms that we use sparingly because we are believers you don't go about and say this one will cure hypertension this one will cure diabetes some of these things in recognized medical practice have no cure they only manage them because some of them are genetic problems some of them is is you are just trying to maintain that but to have what there is what we call radical cure complete cure is different from clinical cure that you achieve and you are well and you move on with your life praise the lord so let's be careful about especially in the area of marketing that this one this tea can cure this can cure that but the safer word to you is that it will help you. You have this problem. It will, some of the testimonies they give, they are not believers. Many of these people that are saying these things, they will tell you, I've done this. They are, those things have not been substantiated. They have not been checked up on. But the one we have seen practically that God has given to us, because the Bible said that God has given us all things to rich, richly to enjoy. Praise the Lord. And every creature of God is good. As knowledge continues to increase, the usefulness of many of these herbs, plants, and other things will begin to come to light. Praise the Lord. The orthodox drugs are also very good. Like our pastor talked about having ear problem, and a medical procedure was done, and that one helped him. And many people have taken drugs, uh, these conventional drugs, maybe Ampiclos, uh, Miss Mark, and it's also helped you. So all these things are given to us, both the orthodox, the herbal, the all types, for us to richly enjoy. But let's be careful about making claims that have not been proven medically. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm growing higher, higher, higher every day. I'm growing higher, higher, higher in the Lord. I'm getting wiser, wiser, wiser every day. I'm getting wiser, wiser. Wiser, deeper, I'm getting wider. Wiser. Wiser. 
Beta. Happy. Stronger, useful. I'm getting useful, useful, useful every day. Amen. Almighty Father, thank you for all we have learned. We're getting wiser, we're getting better, we're getting wider, we're getting deeper, we're getting stronger, happy and all in Christ. In Jesus' name. Thank you so much. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, Contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus I believe Yeah.
Jesus, I believe. 